All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to go over how I set up my Asana board for me and my team and how we kind of just stay organized with it. So first of all, Asana is a project management tool that me and all my team are logged on to. For most of you guys, it's going to be really useful because it is free. I have used tools such as like Trello in the past, but I found Asana to be more powerful. And for the most part, I am still using the free package for me and my team. I haven't upgraded to the paid version, so it should be able to last you guys a really long time. I'm up to like a million dollars or so, still not paying for it <laughs> technically, so I kind of like it, right? Big fan of Asana. Uh, I moved on from Trello to Asana because I found it to be more powerful. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain to you the workflow of Asana, right? So what do I do when I log into Asana every single day, okay? First thing I do when I uh, log into Asana is I go to my tasks and I look at the different tasks that I have here, okay? And I kind of figure out, um, I'll organize different things to like the and mark for today or upcoming for later to figure out where, um, to figure out what things that I want to work on today. Okay, and then what things are gonna be for like upcoming. Okay, um, and then basically after that, what I do is I go to inbox. And then when I'm in inboxes, I go ahead and I scroll through every single thing that's in here and I'll archive it um, as soon as I'm done looking at it. If anything, I'll click on it, you can comment on it, and that's how you can kind of see um, you know, what the actual task is, right? So this is also what I tell my team to do every single day. I tell them one, check your tasks, and secondly, check your inbox. Your inbox should be zeroed out every single day. When it comes to boards, there's gonna be two styles of boards that you're gonna be allowed to create uh, when it comes to projects, right? Um, you're gonna see that you can create it in a list or in a board. Um, list is what you wanna do if you have like a lot of things. Board, I kinda of like better because it looks like a visual dashboard, okay? So when it comes to the board feature, I have it knocked out in a couple columns, right? So the columns that I have are the to-do, in progress, queue waiting, complete. And when you create tasks under each of these buckets, you just move them around in, into each spot, but it kind of visually shows the team like, hey, this is what we have going on. But yeah, so that's kind of like how I use my Asana board. There's so many ways that can really implement it. It can be super, super powerful. Um, I really don't like building a subtask within a subtask. That's one of my pro tips or that's one of my things that I tell my team not to do because it can get like real disorganized like really fast and like tasks can be hidden because of that. Um, but other than that, no project management tool is as useful as people using it, right? So when it comes to project uh, using Asana, you wanna make sure your whole entire team is on board. If you're gonna commit to it, commit to using it, right? It doesn't matter what project management tool you use, Trello, Asana, Evernote, you know, any of those, whatever there is or ClickUp. If you're using a project management tool, you have to dedicate time to committing to use it. I recommend installing this on your, um, you know, bookmarking this, installing the phone app, um, making your entire team do the same thing and be integrated with it, right? So if you guys have other questions about how I use my Asana board, please let me know. And if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know too. I would love to hear about it.